My name is Jeree Bryant, and I'm the Supervisor of Human Services for the Village of Schaumburg. The Village recognizes that one of our community's most valuable resources is its senior citizens. That's one of the reasons we help sponsor so many programs and activities for this population. One of these is the Barn Senior Program, located at 231 South Civic Drive, which provides a daily nutritious lunch along with fun and fellowship. Some of our seniors from the barn are here today to share their thoughts and observations on how things have changed in society and our culture over the course of their lifetimes. Their wisdom is something we can all learn and benefit from. Let's hear what they have to say. We'd like to welcome everybody to our third uh, discussion uh, with the seniors of the Bon of Schoenberg. Our topic has been change in all the discussions that we've had, and we've had some very interesting ones. We have a variety of ages and a variety of places of birth that are on the panel this time. We have people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and they have a wealth of information to share. We have Kiran, who was born in India, and she has some very interesting things to share with us. She is also the moderator of all the seniors at the Bon. Uh, we have Helen, our 90-year-old, who has lived a very, very wonderful life in Chicago. We've had Anne, who was born in a hospital in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> and. We have Julia, who was born in Wisconsin, and I myself, Lori, was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I found out today that I have an accent. But let it be known, it's not me that has the accent. <laughs> okay, our topic for today is going to be recreation and fun that we had as children. And uh, we mentioned in previous discussions that we were happy when we were young, even though we didn't have much of the material things of life. And uh, Mignon McLaughlin once said that happiness is like the penny candy of our youth. We got a lot more for our money back then when we had no money. We were very, very uh, happy in our childhood doing what we did in contrast to what the world today is doing. We mentioned once before that everything has a dollar sign in front of it. We see uh, children walking around with cell phones, iPods, Blackberries, uh, Xboxes, and the like. But we did not have those things in growing up, and that's what we're going to explore today. The first thing we'd like to take a look at is what did we do to entertain ourselves when we were alone and all by ourselves. We hear our grandchildren saying, I'm bored, I don't know what to do. What did you do when you were alone, all by yourself, to entertain yourself? Helen? I read. Okay. Uh, I can't remember the name of the books, but they had a, a whole series of the books like uh, Jane Eyre on that order, and I read those books. And then my mom taught me how to embroider. We didn't waste any time. When vacation time came, she bought me a, a dresser scarf that I had to embroider at the end. By the time summer was over, it was done. Mm -hmm. I think I can remember doing that myself. How about you, Anne? I myself embroidered, and I also played with little beads. I was always oh. beading necklaces and bracelets, never using them, but just with a little coffee can. I'd have all the beads in the can, and I'd sit on a front stoop, and I'd bead and bead and bead. Was and that called the Indian beading? Well, no, no, it was just a little girl with any kind of beads she could find beading them. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. And how about you, Julia? <clears throat> well, I'm the youngest of five girls, so I 
played mostly with my sisters. What they did, I went along with it, with them. And of course, I, ever since I can remember, I could ski, skate, mm -hmm. do anything outdoors. And that, I think, living in Wisconsin, you had more of an opportunity to participate in outside activities. And that's how I think. Um, but mostly with my sisters, whatever they did, it just kind of rubbed off on me. It was follow the leader, yes. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how about you, Kieran? I know in India it's a little bit different from the U.S., a lot, but yes, uh, kids are kids all over. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, I come from a very jo big joint family, and where uh, so many varieties of my, you know, aunties, sister-in-laws, grandmas, and they used to make for us beautiful dolls. Mm -hmm. And we are going to have uh, dolls, uh, their birthdays, uh, then if we, we believe this doll's uh, girl is now growing up, time for marriage. So we are arranging dolls' marriages. And uh, like a groom party is coming, it is like, you know, as you do your daughter's wedding, the same thing. And uh, it was lots of fun, we were going uh, to my uh, doll daughter's in-law's house, find out how they are good or not good. So one time we found out that, uh, that my daughter doll's in-laws are very cruel. So we went there with our whole group and we were shouting, they are cruel, uh, nobody should give their daughter to this house. So it became a you know, big thing, you know, and other people were laughing, look at the doll. But it was lots of fun. We were doing so many outdoor activities. And uh, growing up in a large family, itself a fun. You mentioned playing with dolls. Didn't we all have a favorite doll? I know mine was a Dighty doll. I don't know if anybody remembers that. You fed it water, it went through, you changed its diaper, and you gave it more water. Did you play with dolls also? I did, but the thing I remember is my dolls always had to have diapers, and the diapers were our hankies. Ah, we, yes. we, all the little girls had hankies, so those became the doll's diapers. How about that? I had a teddy bear which was my cherished, uh, instead of uh, a doll. Mm -hmm. I went everywhere with a teddy bear. That See, was your comfort toy. <laughs> probably so, but that was mine. And our dolls probably cost our parents a pretty penny. Yep. Because uh, money back then was a lot scarcer than today. And think of the American dolls that they have today. I mean, my gracious, hundreds of dollars. Mm. Kind of difficult. Um, but you talked about outdoors. Were there any outdoor games that you played with your friends? Oh, always. <sighs> there was hopscotch, roly-poly, oh, yeah. jump rope. We would skate outside. And the one thing I remember that me? I always would enjoy, we would watch the clouds, the cloud yes. formations, and guess what somebody else is thinking what that cloud looks like. Mm -hmm. It was a very peaceful but enjoyable game for us. Mm -hmm. I remember doing that too, just laying down in the grass mm -hmm. and looking up. I still do it. Don't I tell do anybody. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I do what else did you do outside, Helen? Well, we played outside, but we could play out in the street. We didn't have to worry about the cars coming by because there weren't any cars coming by. <laughs> <laughs> so we played uh, baseball and. Uh, then we played run over, run over. Mm -hmm. uh, then we ma uh, drew a, what do they call them, sky blue mm -hmm. on the middle of the street. Um, and we hopscotch in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And red light, green light. Red, right, red light. Giant green light. steps, anybody remember yeah. that? Right. <laughs> it was all out in the open in the street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to worry about cars. There weren't any. That is true, and today you have to dodge them. Uh, any other ideas of what you did outside? I worked in the garden with my mm -hmm. mom, and that's where I got a love for her growing flowers. She had a green thumb, mm -hmm. and we just 
grew every possible flower that we could think of. And uh, up until this day, I'm still planting and growing flowers. Yes, that I know. And you make beautiful arrangements yeah. also. So outside was a, a big world for us, and our creativity and imagination were just blossoming. If we didn't have a game, we made up the oh, game. You're and, right. Uh, can you think kick of the any? Uh, kick the can. What? Kick, kick the can. can. Kick the can. And then you'd run and hide. <laughs> uh, how about the, uh, like the, uh, what do they call them? We put the string in a can. Telephone. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A walkie-talkie. Yes. We had our own walkie-talkies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And all we had to do was wait for mom to open up the soup can. <laughs> <laughs> and you could hear from that can. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That was our first introduction to science, yeah. the yeah. sound waves traveling along the uh, piece of string. string. Mm -hmm. That is neat. I remember doing that. Anything else that you can dig up from uh, the outdoor years? Well, talking about string, how about the button? We had, it was a button with four holes in it, and we'd put string through it, and we'd twist it, and then we'd pull it, oh, yes. and it would go round and round and round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And how much did that cost you? Nothing. It was a piece of string and a button. We, did, we created a lot of we things, did. didn't we? We did. I mean, Same thing with crocheting when we were young. Mm -hmm. We'd take a spool from thread and put four nails in it and put yarn, and then we'd just hoop it over, and it would get longer and longer, and then we'd sew it together. Make a pot holder. Mm -hmm. I think we called it horse reins. Is that what we... That's I don't what we remember. Called it. We didn't call it anything. It's just... We're, we're crocheting, we're knitting, whatever it was. When the boys used to make their scooters mm. oh. Oh. out of yeah. two by four with a, a roller box. skate, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and the, the hood of it was a fruit box. Fruit yeah, box. orange mm -hmm. or apple fruit box. <laughs> and that they had fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, there were so many things that we did, you know, that we enjoyed the little things. And now we can look back on it and really realize that they were big things. They were happy things. Yeah. Well, let's go over to our families. What did you do with your families for entertainment within the home? We didn't have, as Helen said, we didn't have TV, we didn't have radio, although a few people did. Mm -hmm. Well, we had an old-time Victrola with the big horn and the uh, old records. We played those. Okay. They had to crank the Ricola, uh, the uh, Victrola. Victrola. Mm -hmm. I think I remember there was a picture of a dog on it, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah, I don't, uh, God, no. I, I, you know, oh. I don't know what happened to that one. I wish I had it. Oh, Victor. Okay. The Victor. The the I mean, the, the Victrola we had at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to it. Like everything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you do as a family? Did you do jigsaw puzzles? Yeah, well, we uh, played cards. Okay. Help your neighbor because I, I was with my aunt an awful lot, and we'd play cards. And then my grandmother had a rug with a circle in it, and we would play marbles inside oh. that circle inside the house. Okay. Even two girls, but we were playing marbles inside that circle. Mm -hmm. How about you? What did you do as a family? We raised geese and ducks. In the house? <laughs> no, outside. <laughs> and it, um, uh, when they were killed off and they were naturally, we got all the feathers. And my mother made all our pillows and feather beds. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, the feathers had to be stripped. So that we had one big room in the house. And, she, and that took up a lots and lots of our time. Oh. We stripped the feathers to make it into a down pillows and uh, quilts. Interesting. And, and that was done, oh, for a long, long time. And mm -hmm. that's how, you know, we didn't have any blankets. We made our own out mm. of the uh, uh, feathers. That's what you call being a farm girl. Very, yes. You, you learn to um, 
make do with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It was, I loved it. And I think was something that if more people experienced, you know, living out in, not in the wilderness, we were very, very modernized, but it's a different way of life. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't like stripping those feathers. Oh, you had to do no. it also? I had to do it too. Oh, yes. My <laughs> mom had a whole big bag full, and this was stripped, and this wasn't. And it seemed like the bag that wasn't stripped never got smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but where did you get the feathers yeah, in the city? They, she made feather covers, and uh, I, like uh, the quilts that they have now that sell for hundreds of dollars, mm -hmm. mom would make it. Uh, yeah. She would buy the ticking mm -hmm. and make them. Mm -hmm. Pillows. Where did she get the feathers? She, you, know, was, she never bought a pillow. Mm -hmm. she, yeah, but where did she get the feathers they, They'd from? sell them oh. also, uh, the feathers. They'd also sell the feathers. Because oh. I worked at a store that they did and, sell feathers. Uh, mom would get her own a live duck, and she would kill the duck, and she would feather it. And, mm -hmm. That's how we got the feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but it was okay. Yeah. And did you make your own clothes? I, I tried okay. sewing, but I wasn't good at it, so I gave up. Mine were probably hand-me-downs, because I was mm -hmm. the youngest. Mm -hmm. So naturally, uh, I don't remember what, where I got my clothes from. But I think they were. But you were clothed. Yeah, very well. <laughs> <laughs> a lot ahead of me. Then. Well, at birthday parties, today now we go to Chuck E. Cheese, go mm -hmm. bowling and everything. Uh, how did you celebrate parties and what kind of parties did you have? Just family parties. The whole mm -hmm. family would come over. All the kids, aunts, uncles, you know, and just everybody congregated together. Mm -hmm. And when next week we went to the next person's party, and the following week went to somebody else's party. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything special for birthdays? I was going to say our biggest celebration was Christmas Eve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody looked forward to that. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Christmas Eve. I still do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though the, a lot of the traditions have changed, you try, we try to keep the old ones. Right. I know I look back on Halloween. Uh, it seems funny, but we used to bob for apples, mm -hmm. and you'd get your head all wet, and then sometimes people would put pennies in the bottom of the basin, and our head would go in, and we'd be soaked, and somebody would come along and push your head down. Do you remember doing any games or anything at various parties and things? I don't. Oh, I don't I, just, I, I, when I was just, real young, they we, didn't celebrate they, no, Halloween. They didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, not at all. No. And uh, Thanksgiving was strictly a family affair. Mm -hmm. You know, all your you know, just relatives, of course, family. And well, Christmas was the biggest. I don't remember. Not mm -hmm. Halloween. No. We never celebrated Halloween. Well, how about it's birthdays? Something. Pin the tail on the donkey. Did you do things like that? At birthday parties? At birthday parties. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember going to them when I was real young. I think I must have been about 12 when my first birthday party mm -hmm. was when I was invited out, mm -hmm. which was a big deal. It's not like, and that party was at home. It's not like now where they take you to the water parks and whatnot, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't come along until like our children's children. That's when those things start coming. Like our children, it was more pin the tail on a donkey and that, but we didn't have that. No. Mm -hmm. But our children's children got the water parks and Chuck and Cheese and hotel stays, so it's a different generation. Wow, hotel stays. I think we can say that we were really free to invent our own enjoyment mm -hmm. and happiness and we had lots of ideas to keep us uh, going and keep us happy, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I think we've talked quite a bit about our past, and uh, I think 
that it's something we look back, as was said once before, we were happy. We had, we didn't have much, but what we did have, we did enjoy. Mm -hmm. And what do you think you passed on to your children and grandchildren, your, uh, something that you enjoyed as a child? What did you pass on to your children that they can carry on our legacy of happiness? Can you think of anything? Well, I encouraged my, I have only one daughter, to go on trips, just weekend trips, and you know, anywhere in the, especially the United States. We have so many things to do and see. And if you don't do it with your family, when you're young, time goes by so quickly, and before you know it, you're our age, and mm -hmm. then you're, a little slow down, I guess you could say. But uh, they do, they go a lot of places in mm -hmm. the United States. Right. Could you think of anything, Ann, that you uh, passed on? Playing games, togetherness. Uh, just, I, we did it with our children and we're doing it with our grandchildren, that we just get together and play games and converse. And mm -hmm. matter of fact, my husband and I, every night, we still play from nine to 10 o'clock cards or sorry or something just to sit and talk about what happened that day, you know, just to communicate. Mm -hmm. And Helen, could you think of anything that you have are doing now that you did back then? Playing games, but outside of that, I, their ways are just so different. Mm -hmm. They are. I know my daughter told me the other day, she says, Ma, the greatest lesson that you taught me was that you could have fun with a box and also to think outside of the box. Uh -huh. And she says, it's made me the person that I am. So I'd like to leave you with a Swedish proverb that says, those who wish to sing always find a song. And if you have a song in your heart, you are never lonely. You always have something to do, something to say, and something to be happy about. That reminds me, we sang songs mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> all the time. We were always singing yeah. at yeah. home. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah. you know, with no accompaniment, you know, just a cappella. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, during my time, we had songbooks we could buy, purchase, oh, yes. and we'd sit on the stoops and all sing together. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see how it spurred on? Yeah. Well, may everybody have a song in their heart and find happiness in the ideas that you create.